Hi, this is Pastor Kevin Sepulveda of New Life Baptist Church. Just giving you an update on the Australian chapter of the upcoming missions trip to Fiji. Now, if you're an Australian, you're part of New Life at the Church or Blessed Over the Church, or you're just familiar with that church, or even from New Zealand, if you're from my part of the world, uh, you know, please uh, consider coming to this missions trip. If you are seriously considering, please let me know if you are attending. Uh, the email to contact me is contact at newlifebaptistchurch.org.au. And that way I can have an idea of what the numbers are going to be look like, look like so we can sort of start thinking about accommodation and also the plan for the week. So if you do want to attend, I strongly recommend that you land um, in Fiji on Saturday the 25th of May. Now, um, when you land into uh, Fiji, most flights land into Nadi. That's where the resorts are. That's where people go on holidays. But we're going to be targeting the, the main city of Fiji with the largest population, which is Suva, on the other side of the island. And so when you book your flights, please don't just book your flight to Nadi. Book it to Suva. You'll need to stop in Nadi pr- probably and catch a, a flight to uh, Suva. And the sole winning event is going to be for the entire week. Um, it's going to go till the 1st of June. Now, I personally am going to fly out of Fiji one day earlier on Friday, the 31st of May, simply because I've got ministries, I've got church to organize. But feel free to be there for the extra day. That way you get entire weeks of soul winning done. Now, of course, you know, this is open to anybody that's comfortable giving the gospel. Even if you just want to be a silent partner, you just want to come out and experience a missions trip, feel free to be part of it. I'm sure you're going to have opportunities to give the gospel and see souls saved and just be part of a great work. Um, you know, meet new people, uh, new friends, uh, you know, fellowship. It's all going to be wonderful. And of course, we'll try to do some extra activities. So we'll try to have a little bit of fun in Fiji as well. All right. Now, there is another video on our YouTube channel that's been put together by Faithful Word Baptist Church. And there are certain members of that church that are going to make this a bit of a longer missions trip, and they're going to be visiting the island of Tuvalu um, for a few days. So, look, that is not part of the uh, Australian experience, if you want to put it that way. But if you would like to be part of that, please contact faithfulword1 at gmail.com and let them know of your interest of going to uh, Tuvalu as well as the missions trip in Fiji. But that's pretty much it. Um, now we've got some photos uh, just to show you of a previous work from last year that Brother Sam and Brother Jackson did. Just two of them, they went out to do a missions trip in Fiji. And they really were the two spies that spied out the land and gave us the great idea to target Fiji for a future missions trip. God bless you. My name is Jackson. I'm just making this video to tell you about a trip Brother Sam and I took during Easter week of last year. Uh, We spent a week in uh, downtown Suva preaching the gospel to people. During that time, we had 120 salvations. Uh, The average age was about 23 years old. Anyone older than that would generally move abroad uh, for work. But the people there are very receptive. Uh, There's a lot of uh, Seventh-day Adventists. Uh, Methodists, uh, there's large Indian population, uh, majority are Hindu, but even they are very receptive. They're all familiar sort of with what the gospel is, but the people who uh, are professed to be Christians, they're already already King James only. So they know a lot of scripture, they can cite it to you, but you need to be very thorough with them about what eternal security is. Um, they would They would pray with you if you just asked them 
but you have to make sure they're confident and that they understand eternal security before you do. But generally the, the entire island is, is a very receptive place. And I just wanna encourage you to come to this missions trip at the end of May. It should be great. And I look forward to seeing you there.